I've been waiting so long to play Calyrex Shadow. Literally years. Anyone else miss Dynamax? What the heck is this? Good afternoon, Pokemon. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Regulation G Team. Bringing you Calyrex Shadow. We're finally here. Performing for you. If you know the words, then you can join in too. Put your hands together. If you want to clap. It's a helping hand. An Astro Barrage. Bop. Bye bye. Yeah, that's the name of the game today, guys. We got a Calyrex here with the Fairy Terra, with the Terra Blast, having Expanding Force Astro Barrage, two very strong spread moves, plus just a disgustingly high special attack, a disgustingly strong ability, and a disgustingly high speed. Not just that, you also might be wondering why you have Clear Amulet. Why? It's not like you're worried about Intimidates, Kevin. You're a special attacker. Hey! Clear Amulet is actually pretty darn decent when it comes to things trying to snarl you or things trying to Icy Wind you or E-Web you, you know? That's the two things that Calyrex does best. Go fast, hit hard. Clear Amulet allows them to not stop you from doing those two things. I kind of like Clear Amulet after today's video. And just let you guys know, it does some pretty decent stuff in today's video. Also, if you guys weren't able to notice, yes, this is a very hyper-aggressive team. We have the Calyrex here, trying to get as many one-shots as possible with as many spread moves as possible. For some reason, people still haven't realized that Wide Guard is still very good in the meta. So Calyrex is just popping off currently. It's one of the best, if not the best, restricted in Regulation G, at least in my opinion. At least in my experience with Regulation G so far. So we have the Tornadus on this team to hit the Tailwind. We have the NDD on this team to set to the Psychic Surge. We have the Chiu on this team to boost the damage output from the Calyrex even further. We have the Bundle on this team to slow them down if we have to. And then we have Okie Dogie on this team. I don't know why. But I'm excited to try Okie Dogie. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the Dogie do. I mean, Okie Dogie is a lot more fun than just like having an Urshifu in this spot or something, right? We get to play Okie Dogie. I don't mind. This team is from the Darth Bear on Discord. Thank you so much, Darth Bear, for going ahead and posting this team on the Poké Sports Discord. Remember, if y'all want to go ahead and post your teams, join the Discord, or if you just want to join the community, see a bunch of Regulation G teams or see a bunch of Regulation F teams if you're still playing that. Join the Discord as well. There's a chat for you in there, I promise. There's so many darn chats, so many people talking. You'll find a friend. Anyway, if y'all excited to see Calyrex Shadow blow some things up in today's video, go bopping bye byes over and over. Hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done this already. And with that said, let's get on to today's video. May over here with the Curum Nine Tails. Okay. I don't. I don't remember if this is the exact same team that we used not too long ago, but I definitely know what it's capable of. I definitely know that it's scary and not very fun to play against, but it's not impossible to beat. I don't think I have weather on this tornado either though. Okay, I don't. I think I know what I want to do. They have three things on their team weak to fire and not too many things neutral to it except for an Ensign. I might just go with Chiyu lead. Okie dokie is actually like low-key not bad here. Actually, it, it's not even bad as a lead either. I could just go Chiyu Tornadus though, and then bring these two Goonies in the back. No, screw it. We're going Chiyu plus Calyrex Shadow. We'll bring our two supports in the back. This is probably an awful idea. I'm going to do it, though. Because if they lead instant, I might actually be in danger. But we'll, we'll worry about that later, you know? We'll definitely worry about that later. They definitely are going to lead with instant, aren't they? And if they do, they do. I have Fairy Terra, Terra Blast. I can go for the Fairy Terra just so I don't die for whatever the instant's going to throw at me. And then I can just keep throwing attacks at him. Oh, no. Oh, that is the exact same team. I recognize my ex's cold heart. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, well, we know what to expect here, folks. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I think we don't waste any time here, right? We go for the heat wave. We go for the astral barrage. 
and we think later. That is it. That is all. That is all we gotta do. We do. We should still have the speed control. We should at least be able to get the Astro Barrage off on them first. They might be able to get the Aurora Veil up, and there's not much I can do about it. But as long as my Chi is faster, then we should be fine. I do know they have Earth Power, though, on that... On that Kyurem White. Thankfully, they have no Dark or Ghost moves on the field right now, though. So my Calyrex is kind of just vibing. All right, Astro Barrage, get ready. And hopefully some damage. Oh, that's definitely some damage, all right. They do get the Aurora Veil up. As long as my Chew gets this Heat Wave off, I think we're fine. They do go for the Earth Power. I do just get one shot. Wow. Actually nuts. I still think we're fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring my Ndidi in. Do we not just clap an Astro Barrage for the next 20 turns? I mean, granted, they could have the NC in the back. But that's the only thing that wants to take an Astro Barrage. I don't even have to clap, I don't... Uh, maybe I should. Just in case they hard swap. Yeah, we clap, we Astro Barrage, we call it a day. They are going to hard swap, actually. Probably going into the instant. I want to make sure I can do as much damage as I can here. Yeah, they do have the Ensign. I'm going to have to hit, hit follow me every other turn after this, but it's fine. <laughs> they saw my clear amulet. Are they going to Terrastalize? We, they, they already know they don't outspeed, right? Maybe they think they're going to live now with the, the added help, but no. That's why we're helping handing with the added light screen. Let us clap. And let us bop. And let us bye bye Peace out. Defeated my ex's heart. We did it, guys. All right, how much damage did we do to the instant? I wasn't paying attention. I hope it was something worthwhile. Ogre Pond's coming now. Okay. Yeah, we definitely follow me this turn. Oh, that is not what I wanted that to be. I was hoping a lot, at least a little bit more damage. Tell you what, I'm just going to Fairy Terra follow me on the NDD slot and then just keep clicking the stupid button. <laughs> Fairy Terra follow me for the remainder of this game and then Astro Barrage, Astro Barrage, Astro Barrage. The end. We will eventually get another boost eventually. That's fine. Instant's not knocking out DD one hit. The good news is, if Instant does have a berry, a nerf. As one's gonna be stopping that berry from proccing. Alright, it's gonna do a little bit less now. Or actually, it might even do a little bit more because we have the plus one now. It's gonna take a lot of Astro Barrages to knock out the Instant, that's for sure. Alright, I got rid of my Terrain Extender, not like I needed that anymore. Follow me again. And keep on Astro- Keep on Astro Barraging! That's it! The only move we ever click now! I'm pretty sure Expanding Force is more damage onto the other dude. But I gotta do some damage to this Ensign, somehow. I can't just rely on my Bleak Wind later. Oh my goodness! Ogre what? Ogre gone! Oh my goodness, that's so stupid. Yeah! Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Honestly, like, was I not gonna one-shot it, though? They didn't terrestrialize. They didn't have terrestrialization left, so I think I was just gonna one-shot it anyway. That's just me. GG's. On to the next. All right, listen, my opponent's cheating a little bit. They got double restricted. They're playing GS Cup, but let's be honest, one of them is a Rayquaza, which honestly is actually pretty darn decent, if I'm gonna be honest. I think I can handle this. I think I'll be fine. I think there's worse things in the world. I'm also excited to see what the Dialga looks like in game. I haven't seen it yet. Out of like all the um, regulation G stuff that we've been playing so far. Listen, looking at this team, they got no forms of speed control. So 
Is there even another choice? Then Calyrex Chiyu to lead, bring the Indidus in the back, and then bundle? Loki though, Okie Dogie is pretty darn decent. Except for facing that side blade. I'm just looking at that Dialga and I'm trying to think of how I knock it out otherwise. So I'm gonna bring Okie Dogie. Just to add some fun. I haven't played Okie Dogie in the first battle yet. So maybe I'll play it here in the second. Who knows? And if I do, I do, I guess. All right, Bull Cut, what you got? Oh, you got some glasses. You went to the eye doctor? Lapras and... Elephant Man. That's what I anticipated. They're gonna Ice Shard and do something stupid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Astro Barrage and I'm also gonna do something stupid. And I'm gonna go for Ghost Terra Heat Wave here. Let's do it, Ghost Terra makes sense. Stops their EQ, stops their close combat, stops their Hydro Pump. What can they do to me? Other than still EQ me, still Hydro Pump me and still knock me out most likely if they double connect there. But I'm hoping I outspeed. I won't outspeed an Ice Shard. Now I swear, if they whip out like the Choice Scarf knockoff, then, then we have some trouble. And I won't have much of an answer to that. But let's stop speaking things into existence here. No, we outspeed. We're fine. Astro Barrage next to a GU. Bah. Bye bye. Knocking out the thing with no special defense immediately. Thank you for the Grimne. Oh, this is a fun day today. This is going to be the funnest day of VGC ever. Oh, this is going to be the best day of VGC ever. I've been waiting so long to play Calyrex Shadow, literally years. To play it in a format without Dynamax is almost disturbing. <laughs> Anyone else miss Dynamax? What the heck is this? Restricteds are too powerful nowadays. All right, here comes Dialga. Here comes the actual Pokemon they had in the back. And they brought them both. Ray might be very fast. Might not be my Chiyu, at least. But I think I'm kind of cool to click the same two moves over again. I think I'm kind of fine. Kind of straight. I think this will kind of work. I think Astro Barrage is going to hurt too much because that's what a plus one does. It hurts. Rayquaza has the death stare in its eyes, though. I think Rayquaza wants to smack me in the face. Ooh. Terastalizing right away. Unless you're a normal Terra, we're fine. Steel, okay. Now you're weaker to Chiyu. You know what? Hey, you do you. I'm not going to complain about it. Astro Barrage! Bop! Bye-bye! <laughs> I mean... If you don't have Wide Guard, consider using Wide Guard, everybody. That is what this video is currently teaching me as I'm playing it. Two turns, game's over. On to the next. Zation Gouging Fire. Strong old balance team they got here. Okay. Nothing we can't handle, I don't think. Listen, I want to bring Calyrex Shadow, but I kind of want to hold it for the opportune time, the opportune uh, situation. I also have to worry a little bit about the Rillaboom. Tell you what. I think going Calyrex plus Chiu in the lead isn't bad at all. I do also like a bundle in the back. And then Ndidi to set the terrain. We have to worry about that Rilla though. The Rilla can be a problem. And the Rilla 
will be a problem unless we properly deal with it. Unless we take care of it. Oh, Zach, thank God you didn't bring that. That's a lie. That would have made me a little bit sadder with my expanding force, that's for sure. All right, they're going to go double raging friends on the field right away. All right, nothing I think we can't handle, though. Let's keep this simple. I'm kind of inclined to click protect for, for at least one turn. And hit him with a couple of snarls here. Because if we look at it, there's not much that their Raging Bolt can do to my Chiyu, and there's not much that their Gouging Fire can do to my Chiyu. So why not just fire off some Snarls here? We'll deal with the Rilla later, and we'll try to hold Terror for as long as it's possible when it comes to the bundle. So I feel like a Ghost Terror bundle is going to be great for us. All right, the Heat Crash on our Chiyu does no damage. Then we hit him with the Snarl. That Snarl does a lot of damage to them, though. Double special attack drop on their side of the field as they electroweb too. All right. I think we're still okay. I'm going to hit expanding force. I'm going to heart swap the Chi, go right into my Ndidi. I'm going to try to do as much hearts as possible right now. Now they could go for the heat crash on my Calyrex Shadow. I don't think Calyrex weighs that little I think we weigh enough enough heaviness please don't swap out okay they're not swapping out they're gonna go for the burning bulwark that's fine I think we should be able to take out maybe the raging bolt nah but we do enough damage oh as they snarl us back though well, thankfully, we do have clear amulet, so we weren't snarled. All right, I think I don't click expanding force just in case they do go into the Rilla. I'm just going to click Astral Barrage. And either I helping hand it. Or I click follow me. I think I'm going to greet and helping hand it. Whew. Very aggressive. I think I can live a heat crash, though. I have faith. Have faith. Yeah, 25 HP, all I need. Big ol' Astral Barrage. Get ready. Bop. Bye-bye. Get out of here. Plus two right away. Not wasting any time here, folks. We're Kylie Rexton today. We got it on lock. Got it locked in. I probably need to need to go for the double protect here. Don't really have a choice. Zation, all right. Zation and Rillaboom to change the terrain. Fair enough. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. They get a fake out turn here. They can't fake out my Calyrex though. They can fake out my Indeedee, which is why I have to really think about this one. I'm gonna just click protect. And I'm going to attempt a skill swap on the Intrepid Sword. Because skill swapping the, the, the grassy terrain would literally change nothing. Yeah, they're just going to be bade, be blade my Ndidi, as they should. Makes a lot of sense. We'll knock out my Ndidi. Okay. I still think we're fine. 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 Maybe. Maybe not. What's my Chiyu, a ghost? It's a ghost, but it's a 1 HP ghost. I think it's still possible that I win. It's just a matter of how I do it. I definitely got to try to uh, mess up their speed a little bit. I know I'm gonna lose my Calyrex this turn, but I have to I have to still attack. I'm gonna Ghost Terror just in case I Grassy Glide my Iron Bundle. And start slowing them down. 
And hopefully the Grassy Glide from the Rillaboom the next turn isn't going to one-shot my Chiyu at whatever health my Chiyu's at. I really hope so. Let's find out. Ghost Terror on the bundle. Wish me luck. Maybe I should have sacked off my bundle just to keep the terrain locked in. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. They're knocking out my Calyrex. Whew. What is the Zacian doing to me then? I see when it does double connect. That's really good. Great damage on the on the Rillaboom. I just need the speed drops here. Yeah, I got him. Okay, nice. Woo. Oh, we are gaming again, folks. Let's go and arch you. They still have a terrestrialization to use, right? Either they fire Terra the Rillaboom. Or they terrestrialize the Zacian. I have no idea what the Zacian Terra is going to be, though. Um, 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 um. I say we Heat Wave. It could be flying. The Zacian I used was flying. Could be flying or water. Kind of want to freeze dry. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm going to freeze dry it. Hold up. Well, they have to use it this turn. What's it going to be? It's going to be the Rilla, actually. Okay. Fire Rilla. Oh, boy. So this means Zacian does go down. All things considered, right? Oh, no. Zacian going for the protect here. This is a spicy game we got. Are they wood hammering my fish? Is that why? They might be wood hammering my my bundle. Oh, that would be bad. They have a whole berry too, dude. Wow. Oh, they are wood hammering my bundle. Do we live? We get one shot immediately. Hold on. There's still wind. Actually, I, I got to not get knocked out by a grassy glide. Because they're going to take so much recoil to the point where a heat wave might actually still win me the game. Heat wave definitely knocks out Zacian no matter what happens. Unless they miss, of course. And I think heat wave also knocks out that Rillaboom at that health. Listen, I only have one choice anyway. Let's go for it. Never mind. They're still faster. They win. Man! Oh, that was a good game, though, Zach. Very good game. Kudos. I almost got the Calyrex going. I almost got the Calyrex kicking by the end of the, uh, end of the day. It's not an impossible Pokemon to beat, unfortunately. GG's, though. Okay, Tom. Well, this is a vibe. Sand Team Palkia. Sand Palkia Salamon Clodsire. A lot of things here that I, I'm confused by. But none of which I'm intimidated by. Listen, Okie Dokie legitimately is actually in a pretty decent matchup this battle. I don't care about the Intimidate because I'm Guard Dog. I think I'm Guard Dog. We are Guard Dog. I do care about, like, you know, taking an, an Air Slash to the face. We'll worry about that later. Now, as for my opponent, they do have a couple of Dark Types that I'm concerned with. I think a fairy typing can't deal with, but of course we do have to worry about them just being faster. We do have Tailwind on our on our side of the field though. So I think I'm gonna go with the Torrent. I'm gonna go with the Okie Dogie lead. Bring Calyrex and Didi in the back call it a day there. Actually, big mistake. I should have brought my um bundle. Bundle can freeze dry half this team. Oh well. Oops. <laughs> My bad. I guess I won't have an easy matchup against Palkia with the bundle. But yeah, bundle just destroys Palkia, huh? Poor Palkia never getting a chance with the bundles just lying around. Dang, yeah, I could have hit Palkia, Clotsire, and Salamence for some super effective nasty damage. Tom, and you ran out of time, Tom! Tom, what are you doing? Tom, without the clue as to what to do. That means they go Palky and Grim lead, right? Maybe. Hello, Pikachu. Nope. Okay, I guess they didn't run out of time. 
run out of time. Interesting, interesting. Um, I think I keep this simple. I'm gonna go for the drain punch on the Excadrill. And just set up Tailwind here. I think... I don't... Th actually, I don't think my Okie Dokie can outspeed the Excadrill, but I know whatever damage the Excadrill does to me, I can get all back with the Drain Punch. And I definitely know they're probably gonna hit the Flying Terror on us with that T-Tar too. But all I need is a Tailwind. Once I get this Tailwind up, it's just Calyrex Shadow time. Actually, maybe I should have attacked that T-Tar when I had the opportunity to. Unfortunately, T-Tar... It's still a problem for Calyrex Shadow. It's still a problem for my backline in general. All right, Tailwind's up. They go for Rock Blast. Okay, well, I'm happy they're hitting my Torn. But you know, you get Rock Slide. Are they Loaded Dice? Ro they're Loaded Dice Rock Blast. Yep, they're Loaded Dice Rock Blast. Brother, that's nuts. I love it though. A for effort. Let's punch you now. Yep, got you right down to your sash. Beautiful. And then they rock side. That's fine. Rock side is not a problem for Okie Dogi. All right, good news is good. We go into Calyrex now. We probably go for a, a Fairy Terra. And then just hit an Astral Barrage. We make them decide what they want to do. Either they stay rock and dark and get drain punched, or they terrestrialize and, you know, are forced to eat an expanding, not expanding force, an astral barrage here from the fairy Terra. We'll give them a choice. Choice is all yours, Tomlin. What will it be? Also, they also have the choice of hard swapping. I don't think they want to make that choice though. There's nothing on that team that takes a neutral hits to an Astro Barrage that isn't that T-Tar. And this is why we brought the Dogi, baby. The Dogi has a necessity on this team. It is meaningful. It is often forgotten, but not irrelevant. Terrestrialization time. We got a little hard on our heads, folks. We're in love. Okay. Free Excadrill. <laughs> um, num, 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 num. Tasty. <laughs> Don't mind. Don't mind at all. That is ideal. We get that one HP crit, the guys. I went, where's my crit mattered shirt? Oh, it would have been perfect. Oh, well. We have I gened this shirt instead today. All right, gonna take some sand. Maybe that's why they wanted to protect. Well, we know they're not assault vested, which is actually like really good information to have too, because of that. They showed us that protect. We should still have Tailwind for two more turns. We only went twice. Let's see what they, they bring in here now. It should be like, what, Salamence maybe? Grim! They brought double darks now. This changes things. Ooh, that's actually a very good switching for them. I'm gonna go for the poison jab on the Grim. I'm gonna double the Grim. I hate this Grim right now. I could protect, but I don't think I, it's necessary. Oh, they actually just fake out Dogi. Okay, good. I should be able to knock the Grim here then. Maybe. I'm at plus one. I should be. As long as they don't have Iron Head or something crazy on this, uh, this T-Tar, we're a-okay. That's our second Grim Nay, by the way. Thank you very much. Okie Dogi flinches. It's fine. And they just rock slide. Okay, we eat that. Oh, we eat these all day, every day. Got one more turn of Tailwind. They're gonna protect Titar, that's for sure. 
So I just have to hunker down and focus on everything else that they have in the back. Whatever else they have in the back. Whatever this thing is. Oh yeah, that one. Yikes. Um, like I said, they're going to protect Tiktar. Let's just throw everything we have. Also, they do still have a Terra intact. I think I'm going to click Astral Barrage just in case the Terra Blast is too obvious. Because like you, you definitely think that a dragon wants to like be a Steel type or something. Or just not weak to Fairy. So let's not go for Terra Blast. Are they going to commit to Terra? It's going to be the Palkia. This is why we didn't Terra Blast. <laughs> this is exactly why we didn't Terra Blast. We're also happy we didn't Ice Punch. That was another thought that my brain had, but I was like, hey, we might as well just go for the Drain Punch here. There's the Protect on T-Tar. Do they protect the Palkia? Probably not. Let's see what a plus two Astro Barrage can do here, folks. Let's see some pain. Let's see some hurts. Yep, that's about as expected as I'd think. Drain Punch by... Woo! Knocking down Palkia's left and right. Unfortunately, didn't get another boost there, though. But fortunately, we now know that they're locked on to the rock and fighting type. No, not rock and fighting. Rock and dark type. So our final move is an easy move. Keep it nice and simple. We should still double out speed here, even without Tailwind up. Let's Drain Punch. Let's Terra Blast. That'll be a GG, folks. Still a plus two Terra Blast, even with the 50% sand boost. It's not going to help you out, bud. Yikes, dude. Yup, that's how Calyrex do. That is definitely how Calyrex do. Tomlin, GG's. We got three games of Calyrex absolutely popping off and one game where we kind of struggled against his Asian. But still, 3-1 overall in today's video, not too shabby. And we went against a lot of Restricteds today too, so it's not even like we went against no Restricteds. So, hey, we take those and we run with it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Also, thank you so much to the Darth Bear on Discord for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. It was an absolute blast to play. And I appreciate all the help that you guys Darth Bear included, go ahead and uh, give to us, you know? We, we wouldn't be able to do what we do if it wasn't for the community, and the community helps us so much, so we do greatly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Anyway, if you guys need some more Pokesports in your life, check out our Patreon, check out our memberships on YouTube. If you want some Pokesports merch, check out our merch store at pokesports.org slash collections. And, uh, yeah. See you guys again tomorrow for some more VGC stuff. I'm Chris Pokesports. Peace out, and bye-bye.